What is going on Lego Maniacs? It's Tyler Lego guy here and today we're doing another comparison. I've actually really wanted to do this. It's an X-Wing comparison. So we have four of the five minifig um, scale X-Wings in this collection. We're going to be comparing them. It'd be cool to do all of them but that video would just be way too long. So the first one we're going to be looking at is the X-Wing fighter that set 7140. Came out in 1999, 20 years ago as of 2019. Had four minifigs, 260 pieces, and retailed for 30 US. And then we're also gonna be taking a look at the 2006 X-Wing fighter. Just so you guys know, the 2004 and the 2006 are very similar, so I didn't feel a need to uh, review that one as well. Um, but that's the uh, 6212, had 437 pieces, uh, six minifigs, and retailed for about 50 US. Then we'll be looking at the 2012 X-Wing Starfighter that's set 9493, had 560 pieces, uh, four minifigs, and retailed for about 60 US. And last, but certainly not least, we'll be looking at the other X-Wing Starfighter, the 2018 model, which was a set number 75218, had 731 pieces, four minifigs, retailed for 80 US. Honestly, uh, great looking models we're going to get into the positives and negatives and then at the end which one i think is the best as well let me know what you guys think is the best one as well always curious to know your guys thoughts but enough talk let's get right into it so to start this one off we're going to take a quick look at the mini figs for the 1999 x-wing now I will be doing a normal review of this where I get more detailed, but just for now I just wanted to center in on them. And just so you guys know, I'll be doing a comparison of all the TIE Fighters. Um, the standard TIE Fighter, hopefully next week or the week after. So stay tuned for that. But to start off, we got Luke Skywalker, nice looking Luke, beautiful chrome lightsaber. Then we got R2-D2, standard R2 we had for years. And then believe it or not, that's supposed to be um, Big's Dark Lighter. So, Nice looking minifig. Um, he actually looks not bad for how old he is. And then we also have a normal engineer. So now let's get into the model itself. So here's the uh, 1999 X-Wing. Give you guys a 360 view of it. Very nice looking little model. Um, I think they did a great job on this 1999 X-Wing. It is very old, but I do like it. It has some nice printing, no stickers. Uh, nice little cockpit. I'll just open it up and show you guys. It has the Death Star trench run in there, which you guys have probably all seen before. Uh, you can put the lightsaber in there. Turn that a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm looking at. And then, yeah, just it's all in all a very nice looking set. It has some landing gear right here, so it looks good when you just land it. If you want to deal with that, you just take it off. And now it's a normal X-Wing on the ground. Um, Oh, what's cool about it too is it has a little compartment here to kind of put the front landing gear and the back landing gear is just too big. But anyways, there's nothing too crazy, not any crazy features. Oh, as I destroy it. But what it does do, as now it's repaired, is uh, the wings open up, you just do it manually. Not as fancy as we get with the other ones. And then there it is. That's the way it looks like when it's coming at you. Also, this is Red 5, which is Luke's uh, X-Wing, so that was very convenient that this piece had five little red pieces. We'll get into that later, how they kind of did that, and you can swap them out with the future X-Wings. But yeah, that pretty well does the 1999 X-Wing. Let's now move on to the 2006. Before we do do that, though, I just wanted to show you guys this little cart. And I normally don't care about these things, but this one looks actually very accurate to the little um, cart we see in Episode 4. So you know what? Credit when's credit's due. They did a good job. Very simple, but probably the best little card I've ever seen LEGO make as far as trying to make it look like uh, Star Wars authentic. So to start off, the 2006 X-Wing, let's just take a look, quick look at the minifigs. Now, what's really cool about this uh, little set is it came with six minifigs. Uh, that's incredible for an X-Wing. Um, and it was only 50 US. So I have to say probably the best deal out of all of these X-Wings is probably this one. Um, but anyways, you get Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Chewbacca, uh, Princess Leia, R2, and then, believe it or not, this is supposed to be Wedge Antilles. Not very detailed. I actually think that the 1999 version was more detailed. 
But yeah, those are the minifigs that were included. Uh, but just a nice slew of minifigs. Uh, do quite like them. But now let's get into the model. So here we have the 2006 X-Wing. Uh, just so you guys know, I will be doing them, I'll be putting them side by side just so you guys can kind of see what they all look like next to each other. But I'll give you guys a 360 view of this guy. Very nice X-Wing. Uh, the 2004, as long as the, along with the 2006, they're almost identical. They really re revolutionized the X-Wing that we have nowadays. They look very similar to this, very similar size. Um, so first off, I'll just show you guys the cockpit. So same thing, just a little computer in there. I didn't bother putting R2 and Luke in there because it essentially looks exactly the same as the 1999. But very nice, it has these little lights which remind me of when it went to Dagobah, which I think that's what they were going for. This is really an, X, an episode five X-Wing. Again, very similar to the 2004 that came with the Yoda's hut. So right in here, there's just a little area. This is just kind of covering up this little gimmick. But what you can do is it just opens up like so. so that's how you kind of op put the S folds in attack position. Very nice looking X-Wing. Show you guys that in the front. And I mean, that's that's it's what you want an X-Wing to be. Um, the other nice thing about it is um, it has a little compartment. They were doing this for all the old ones where you can put Luke's uh, lightsaber in there. And then to close this thing up, Again, you just do it off. You just twirl this thing, this little air thing right here. Little gear. And they sometimes get stuck, but they normally work pretty good. And then what's nice about this one, unlike the 1999 version, it does have landing gear. So you don't need all those extra pieces. You just pull this thing down. And there you go, it's landed. So yeah, that's the uh, 2006 uh, X-Wing. Now let's take a look at the 2012, which honestly, I really love the 2012, but we'll get right into it. One other thing I wanted to mention, and correct me if I'm wrong about this, but um, Wedge Antilles was red too. That's what his designation was. And what they actually give you, is I'll just show you guys these pieces, is you swap this these guys out, and I'll just demonstrate it on one side. And you put four of these little red and white pieces on each side. And that's not straight, but it's uh, red too. So I thought that was a cool little improvisation. Um, yeah, just a really cool little gimmick, but I, I like that. So you can make it uh, wedges or Luke's uh, X-Wing, although the a stomach droid is going to be incorrect. It's going to be, you know, R2, which they kind of improved on that in the 2012, which we'll now get into. So to start off the 2012 X-Wing Starfighter, let's just have a quick look at the minifigs. So right off the bat, you're going to notice this is the very first time we get Jack Porkins. And I love that they did kind of a job making him fat with his big cheeks. Uh, honestly, that's fantastic. Then you get a standard, well, cool looking Luke Skywalker, a little bit more detailed than the 2006. And then you get R2-D2 along with R5-D8. So nice looking minifigs. Uh, nothing too crazy, but again, nice you get Jack for the first time. But now let's get into the 2012 X-Wing. So here's the 2012. One thing I just quickly wanted to mention, if you guys are ever trying to stand mocks or sets, window pieces work fantastic. You get these six by six clear pieces and they just work absolutely fantastic. But now that I got that out of my system, uh, let's get into the X-Wing. So I'll give you a free 360 view of it first. So very nice looking X-Wing. Uh, absolutely do love it. I'm, I'm gonna say it right now, as far as the guns go, it has the favorite one, fa my favorite guns out of the four. I think it's the most accurate looking, uh, just it's really edgy like I mentioned before. I just really, really like the set. And then there is stickers unfortunately, but I think they add to the detail um, on the X-Wing. And then this was the first one that has greebling, so detail that you can kind of see it's a working X-Wing. And then on the back, um, this is where the 2018 does improve. We'll get into that. Um, another cool thing about this set is if you want to make it red six, which is Porkins, and you want it destroyed by Darth Vader, you just slam these little things in here. And now it is 
red six. So very, very cool. This also improved on how the wings kind of opened. Oh, if I manage not to destroy that, I will say that maybe this is the most fragile one of them all because none of them ever gave me issues. But anyways, you just pull them out like that and there, there you go. Now it's an attack position. So very, very nice looking little X-wing. Um, the other thing too is this actually gave, I'm gonna pull this right off. This gave a little bit different trench run looking little computer. So that was another interesting thing about it. Um, that's the cockpit. Nothing too crazy, but very nice looking X-Wing. Really do like it. Uh, it has little rockets on or proton torpedoes uh, on the uh, bottom. So very nice, uh, you know, just kind of giving the impression it's gonna shoot stuff. It doesn't have any shooters on it. But now let's get into the 2018. Um, before we do that, I just want to get in one other detail. This has landing gear as well. You just pull this piece down. And uh, there is no area to stick the X-Wing, unfortunately. Um, but still, very nice looking X-Wing. Uh, I actually really like this one. All right, so now that we got uh, the 2012 out of the way, let's get into the 2018 X-Wing, the latest X-Wing from LEGO as of 2019. So as you guys can see, you get Luke Skywalker, a new Wedge Antilles, with, um, not Wedge Antilles, a Biggs Dark Lighter, and then you also get R2-D2 and a standard, uh, well, a new R2-Q2. That's the gray one right here. So very nice looking Astromic droids. I'll just center in a little bit more on these guys because they are unique and I do quite like them. Um, but yeah, nothing too crazy with the minifig selection. Now let's take a look at the model itself. So here's the 2018 X-Wing. Again, I'll give you guys a 360 view of it. This one is very accurate in so many different little areas and I'm gonna get into that. Um, yeah, okay, first off, uh, it has little shooters, which is actually kind of cool. You can put the uh, spring-loaded shooters in there, which we all know how those work. They shoot them off, and then it also has stud shooters on the sides to kind of replicate... Um, I keep wanting Star Trek. Proton torpedoes. Uh, anyways, very nice. This is the first time we got a real authentic kind of cockpit piece that was made for this X-Wing. And the only thing is, I don't really like the computer on it. Um... I think the other computers are all better than this computer. The trench run just works, but all in all, very nice looking. I love how the dash kind of comes up too, which is accurate with the X-Wing. The engines are actually larger than any other X-Wing. And I do like that detail. The yellowing as well. This is the correct type of yellowing that's on the X-Wing, which is beautiful. They are stickers. Um, I mean, there's stickers on here as well, but still very nice looking. This is red fives, obviously, but if you want to make it red threes, which is um, Biggs, Biggs is. Uh, you just slam these guys on and then it's, yeah, then it's uh, Red 3. So very nice looking. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention too is the engines. Uh, the, like the greebling in here, very nice. The back here, it's all greebled. Um, the middle here is as much as they could because we're gonna get into this little device it has. And these are the correct coloring for the engines. It should be like a purpley pink, which this one is. So very, very nice. Uh, this also has the easiest way to um, basically open the S-folds. Just like that. Very, very nice. I keep saying very nice, but I think they did a great job on this. And then when you want to put them into normal mode, you just click that. And now it's in normal mode. This also has landing gear, which is nice. The only thing I will say is I think that the guns are more accurate on the other X-Wing than this. Um, other than that, I think this is the most accurate one. I, I think the 2012 has better looking guns. Um, but yeah, uh, now let's get into the end. Well, not the end of the review. Now we're going to compare all four of the X-Wings just to kind of give you guys an idea what they all look like side by side. So here they all are side by side. So as you guys can see, I'm just going to center in on this one a lot. This is nose to nose. You can see how much smaller the old 1999 X-Wing is than the 2004, 2006 model. Just so much littler. But I don't, I like him, he's, uh, he's cute. <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on. Uh, just kind of compare them all. Here's the 2012 and the 2006 version. So as you guys can see, very, very similar sizes. 
They're very super similar. Uh, that's nose to nose. Yeah, so you guys can kind of give it get an idea. And then moving on, it just goes on with this, the same type of uh, trend. The 2018 and the 2012 are basically the same size as well. So let's just get these guys all straight nose to nose. To give you guys kind of an exact comparison. There it is. So as you can see, not huge variations with the 2006 to 2018 models, but then huge variation with the 1999 model. These are all the extras as you guys can see. Uh, so very, very cool. Um, I love doing these. I plan on doing the TIE Fighter one again soon, starting with the 2001 TIE Fighter or 2000 TIE Fighter and making it up all the way up to the 2018 TIE Fighter. But yeah, those are the X-Wings. Now let's get into the end of the review. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. Um, honestly, looking at them all, I will be do doing separate reviews of this later and uh, comparing against movie footage, but I have to say they all have their strengths and weaknesses. Like for instance, I really like how this one, everything kind of spikes out at you with it. Everything's just kind of edgy, which I kind of like. The most accurate one I do have to say is probably the 2018 model. Although if you look at some of the footage, it is grayish, especially in episode four. I mean, this one's probably the most unrealistic one, but it is the most nostalgic one as well. And the smallest one, you can fit this one in mocks if you want to do a mock, really easy. And then the 2006, this was the first model of its kind where we kind of got to the accurate size of the X-Wings because um, as we looked at them, they're all pretty well this size. So this kind of started it. It was kind of like the uh, 2004 Millennium Falcon. Well, for the X-Wings, it was as well the 2004 X-Wing, which is basically this one. Uh, it kind of revolutionized the X-Wing and it's basically the one that we have to this day. But again, let me know what you guys, what your guys' thoughts are, which one's maybe your favorite. I just love them all though in their own way. Um, but that's all I got for you today. But if you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future uh, X-Wing um, video, well, vi videos like comparisons. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna be doing that TIE Fighter one very soon. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you today, but take care and I'll catch you all in the next one.